Okay, so my name is Tracy Burnett, and I'm a PhD student at UBC, uh, and I do most of my research here at our dairy farm. Uh, right now we have about between 20 and 25 students working on the farm, uh, and probably about 20 of those are living on the farm. We have people from China, Brazil, Sweden, Denmark, Holland. I feel like there's many people at UBC that have no idea that the farm is here. <laughs> Overall, this farm was made uh, for research purposes and to better cows' lives in the way of increasing the welfare of those animals with respect to different things. So it could be uh, the comfort of the animal, uh, the ability of the animal to do something that's natural to itself. It could be disease. And then also uh, in reproduction. It's actually quite hard to get cows pregnant. We are run as a commercial dairy, and so all the money that we get from the milk of these animals are put back into the farm. We have to produce milk to stay alive sort of thing. We try not to say like, oh, a successful farm is producing milk because that's not really our goal, right? So our goal is more to have a good life, to make a good life for cows at a viable farm, not just producing high qu like quantities of milk. It's good for people to know where their food comes from and where there's things that could change and how people can have an influence on that. What we strive to do here is do all the best practices. So there is the Canadian code of practice. We try to do that code and beat it sort of thing. Looking at all the research, we try to do the most humane practices. So how we house our cows, our milking procedures, how we dehorn our calves, we chose that through research. So we try to do all those things that are in the best interests of the cows. All the things that we do here, anybody could, any farmer could do. Any producer in the valley or in Canada could do just as well as we could do. Knowing that that's possible and trying it out. And it's a management change, yes. So like some people are used to a certain management uh, and so that, that is hard, changing your management is always hard, or maybe your infrastructure, you have an old barn, but in the end, if people try and put the effort in, they, they would be able to do all those procedures that we do.